today guys jazzing up your whips and allowing you to have a, a moment if you like so you can accent something in the music maybe the one two maybe the five six so let's just bring Kerry in we're going to start our whip with the right right hand hold and go into hammerlock that hammerlock releases pretty quick but looks good anyway we're going to start with an anchor first so triple rhythm five and six seven eight one and two three four hold there i'm going to bring the girl back i'm just going to walk back and hold now i'm going to walk slow slow rock rock step walk catch roll off i could even turn there and go so let's do that again from here Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, whatever, five, and six if you need it. All right, breaking the leader's footwork down. If I think basic whip, and starting on the foot, one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna get across this whip a little bit more. Five, and then right across on six, so I can open that shoulder up. I'm gonna send the girl back in a turn I need to travel, and I'm probably gonna do a little chasse triple there, or a big step hold, so I can walk back, hold, hold, then rock step, bring the girl forward, another handle lock, Catch to the shoulder. Sorry, didn't next your turn. That's okay. Catch to the shoulder. Can be right hand, can be left hand. And then I can spin the girl out and then maybe reverse spin it if I like. Yes, and girls, there's some options with our footwork here. So um, let's just go into partnered uh, as we do the hammerlock with anchor. Anchor, anchor step. One, two, three, footwork. and four, five. five. Six. This feels really good. Now turning in here, we're going to triple seven, step. Seven, eight, seven, and eight. We get to walk back. One, time. two, three, now four. Now here, I could either rock, step, and walk forward. Rock, step, walk forward. Or I could triple step, triple step, like a rock and go, and then turn it into that arm. So it's, it's really up to you. It's not going to affect him one way or the other. Then we catch. It's going to feel... Your arm. Oh, yes. So, gentlemen, you can use the left arm or the right arm, depending on which type of line you want to achieve there. But no matter what follows, the leader is setting your distance. So fill that space, and then it's going to feel really good for you to triple out anchor step however you Which want. Which is what I do there as well. Yeah. Let's break that down. We'll start with a uh, triple anchor. Seven and eight. One, two, three, and four five, six, now I'm going to hold that if the music needs it, seven, eight, I triple the next movement, and one and two, oh yeah, one and two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, and either rock, step, seven, or triple, seven, eight, catch, or catch, and triple step, triple step, so I did slightly different footwork there, I did an and, triple step back or I can just hold step back so let's just go over that again um, if I catch here what did I do I forget what count I did five six and then I went seven and eight so that was a triple I'm on the right foot carries on the left then we walk back one two three four I went forward as I opened up her shoulder now I'm going to show the triple because I showed the rock before and then as I brought her forward I did a um, ball change and crossed over and then went out and landed on that left foot. So I do want to talk about when we come back here in shadow position and we're walking back outside foot, inside foot, and we rock her. That's a little bit of an over rotation whether she decides walk, to rock or walk. she decides to do a rock and go. But with the left hand, she is dropping it so that her elbow straightens. He's doing that pancake flip so we can get it up to that lower, uh, small of the back. She feels like it might be a slight hammer block, but that's what gets her to rotate so he can catch the shoulder. So let's try that from the other perspective. We're in shadow position. We're walking back outside foot. Hold, hold. We have a rock step or a rock and go. 
that hand drops to the small on the back, and then he traces in to have that arm catch, and then unwinds her as musically we feel yeah. fit. So let's just do that to a count one yes. more time. Seven and eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. That was a triple. One, hold two, three, hold four, five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three and four, five and six. And I think Kerry had a one and two, if I'm correct. Huh? It was one and two. <laughs> it was exactly with you. Okay, perfect. So there you have it. So we've had a couple of different options for that because it's okay if I hold and move the girl and walk into position, but it's good to practice with your doubles and your triples. It is. Can we do one more mm -hmm. directly the same? Seven and eight. One, two, three and four, five over six, seven and eight. One hold, two, three hold, four, five, six, seven and eight. That time we did a chasse. One and two. I walked out three, four because I didn't do my and there. <laughs> that was right. good. I like it. So there's lots of different variations, but if you go with the basic hammer lock whip, arm catch, shadow, arm catch, exit, it's a really nice amalgamation to fit into your social dance. Have fun with that.